England's performance last year. I've got an Englishman just sitting alongside me. Welcome, Mark Nicholas. Follow that is all I can say. We'd leave uh, Gilchrist and Simons to play the whole game. Common pace. Back in international cricket with a wicket. He's going to Ross Taylor, who's also available for a chat later on. Oh. I'll have to give him a couple of balls to get settled first, though. Man of the uh, change rooms are out of the dugouts here, facing this sort of pace. Shielding, searing pace, terrific spin bowling, stroke play. Oh. There is a question mark hanging over 2020, there shouldn't be. And waited. Too quick. New Zealand four for thirty. Matthew Sinclair is about to find out about the heat in the kitchen. Here's Sean Tate. This is serious speed. Some swing, a slinging action. You wouldn't get a tougher test than this. Three slips in place. They're almost back on the 30-yard circle line. As Taylor made nothing of it. Actually, the ball nipping back off the seam. There's inside edge, maybe a bit of thigh there as well. The fact is, we're talking, oh, we're talking 150 to 150, maybe even 160 Ks. I mean, this is, this is as tough as it gets on a quick whacker surface too. brains on this stuff. I hear so many people saying that Brett Lee and Sean Tate can't play in the same team. I've never been able to understand it. When you've got these weapons, you just unleash them on world cricket. Get them both. You know, the Lillian Thompson thing. I mean, you just want fast express bowlers playing at the highest level all the time. Well, I think to be fair to the selectors, they wouldn't mind seeing it either. I think the problem is that it's either Brett Lee's been injured or Sean Tate's been injured. A bit like McGill and Warren, wasn't it, a couple of years ago? I think the Australian selectors are waiting for them both to be fit. You might be just seeing that. Well, well, things for 30. It's on strike. Tate bowling with some real licks, as they say in the West Indies. Two slips in place here. Tate to Oram. They've got some good bat batsmen to come to. Oram Vittori's been in good form in South, the South Africa. Be under pressure, it really does change quickly. And guys have been, or had to be ready to bowl one over spells at a time and chop and change. Um, oh, that is smashed. Smashed, flat batted. 150k disappears over Tate's head. So that's the sort of thing. There's no time for thinking, is there? No, there's not a lot of time, mate. Uh, but that's also the, the, the beauty of the game, I suppose. The crowd's always on the go and there's something happening, which is fantastic. One a new shot, maybe. Justin Langer started to invent that shot, didn't he? The full shot down the ground, and now Oram's into Tate. Tate's return. Has he been happy around the dressing room? And then what about the debutants? You've got three in the middle order there today. We certainly have. We had one that came in pretty late, too, which was a little bit He's certainly not leaving guessing, is he? What length he's going to bowl? Um, but no, Palmer's batch, Luke Palmer's batch came in today, which was a, a real thrill for him, considering he turned up with his girlfriend to the ground, I think. Uh, maybe have a come in, too. Yes, it's just any sort of stepped away there. There, there. there is a hard decision to be made as to how you're going to attack Tate in this scenario. Uh, and I guess it's a big week for you to look forward to. The Chapel Hadley series coming up now. Yeah, very much so. It's, um, I think both sides really enjoy playing against each other here, and that's close. Um, and, you know, the challenge is we, we got done 3-0 in the Chapel Hadley last year over there, so our boys are pretty aware of the fact that we don't hold that trophy. So, yeah, we're looking forward to Adelaide, especially on Friday. And I hope the Indians are watching. It'll be nice to see. <laughs> Well, he's missed that as well, but it's 5 for 36 at the moment. Thanks, Tim. No worries, yes. Thank you. Sean Tate is thundering in. Fabulous player, this guy. He's 100 here earlier in the year. In one of the 50 over games was magical. It didn't quite do the job for the New Zealanders that evening. They fell eight runs short, tasting a monstrous score, but... 344 was their target. They couldn't quite put it off. But his innings, 
was very special. running but Tory responding so singles important also but it's uh, getting out of hand Styra oh, jump there from Vittori that's the indication of the pace that Tate is bowling with and Oram he's got such a good eye there's no great foot movement he's standing he's a bit of a stand and deliver player and he'll uh, crash through the line uh, all batsmen have been intimidated by this pace tonight that's the reason we see that scorecard, 6 for 55. Standing uh, effort from Australia, who were frustrated in their ultimate performance in the ICC World 2020. They'll turn around this uh, 2020 style of cricket. Got that. <laughs> 2020 cricket. I reckon that's quite well played. Watching the ball. I mean, that's a very good example of how to play the short picture. Uh, I'm making a bit of a statement to you. They know there's three one-day games coming up very shortly, and there's just a little statement of intent here from the Australian bowlers. Results aside. You cleaned us up last time. That's why it is a set. You beat us three zip at the start of the year. You believe that? No, we couldn't. He's, a, he's never he's not, he's not he's not quite, he's is he? He's never speechless. Now, that's what we've got coming up. The Chapel Hadley Trophy. First game at the Adelaide Oval, a day-nighter on Friday the 14th. Just a couple of days away from now. Always a special thing to be down at the Adelaide Oval. Day-nighters are a great spectacle. It'll be a sellout. Without doubt, once we get there. Tickets still available, so plug in for those. Meantime, New Zealand 6 for 56. Tight. It's time to throw out there again. Gilly and Sim are doing such a great job that we need to hear from them again, don't you think? Makes our job easier as well, Gil. <laughs> well, I'm going to let Simo do the intro or the opener on this one. Over to you, Roy. <laughs> well, we got we got the, the wild thing. Going to try and close the game out for us here. We'd, we'd like to get a wicket here. Knock Gillespie over, keep Oram off strike. We need two wickets, otherwise we're losing cash for slow over rate. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, one of the more educated slip drives I've ever seen. Yeah, if, there is, if there are spaces of silence, viewers, that's because the captain's actually trying to talk to us. We'd like to uh, show me in the fence. <laughs> give him a little bit of help out here, but he's doing a great job, Michael Clark. Plenty of energy, and uh, yeah, he's taken a little bit of a punt here on. As I say, there's a slow over rate, we're two overs down, which all of a sudden Michael Clark cares because the, ca the captain pays twice the amount that we pay. Oh, it's well bowled. Just got a bit too much of an aura there. Come back to two. Yeah. Sorry, I just caught the end of that. Something about, are we happy to see a bit of money taken off the captain, was it? Yeah, well, if, if the captain gets twice the uh, fine for a slow over rate, so I reckon the rest of the players might be happy to see that in his first game. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Well, that one, he's sliding it away nicely there, Tate. Yeah, well, he does get paid a little bit extra per match, so unless he's going to shout us dinner or something or a nice bottle of vino, we don't mind where it goes. Trouble is, we all go down with him. <laughs> And that's where we start running between the overs. And, but as I say, he's taken a punt. It's, it's one of the, the little dilemmas that a captain faces. Many dilemmas throughout a game of cricket. And you know, he's taken the attacking option, which is encouraging. Oh, oh that's a beauty. Tate is on fire here. How's it looking from deep? Mate, that looked corner, Roy. That looked like it went deep into your gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's nice. He's unreal to watch this bloke, isn't he? What you get is what you see with Tati. Must admit, I'll be waiting for the uh, messages of thanks from the West Australian Warriors who play South Australia later this week. I did encourage the Australian selectors to get him into the Australian team so that he wasn't part of that Pura Cup game. <laughs> and... Oh, yeah, round, boy. Uh, 
got a hold of it, did Jake. He's a strong man. Struck. Eight for 85. Again, a little bit of a fight back here. Jacob Oren's done it before at the Wacker. New Zealand not lying down as they never do in these competitions. Yeah.